I'm not a, a great reader, but I've been hugely impacted by, by uh, uh, some things that I've read. Uh, about 15 years ago, maybe, oh, maybe 20 years ago now, someone uh, gave me a copy of uh, a Patrick O'Brien book uh, called um, Master and Commander. Um, and it is part of a, a series that, uh, that eventually was to, was to be 20 books in all. Uh, written by Patrick O'Brien and featuring uh, um, uh, Stephen Maturin and, uh, and Captain Aubrey. Uh, they take place uh, during the Napoleonic Wars uh, in, the, in the English uh, in the British Navy. Uh, and they are excellent reads and they're also very informative. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a sailor and uh, I, I, I love uh, spending time in boats and, and, and these uh, will just pick you up and sweep you away and it's a lot it's there's a uh, you know it's a long series 20 books so it's uh, there's plenty here and uh, you know if you love them uh, it's like uh, you you've been lit on fire and if you don't then you just drop it halfway through the first one and, and carry on somewhere else but but uh, the the first is ma is is, is uh, um, a captain and commander followed by the, uh, the book uh, Post Captain, and then uh, the HMS Surprise, and on down the line. Great books. Th ripping Yarns of the Sea, Smashing Tales. Great. I went to New York uh, uh, when I was 18 years old and, and, and joined a, a rock and roll band. And uh, I, I, I skipped college. And uh, I, 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 I didn't get a chance to to read early on uh, a lot of these uh, classic books that, that, that later were, were revealed to me and, and recommended. Uh, and th this thing just, uh, 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 it just hit me so hard. Uh, this is Anna Karenina by, by uh, Leo Tolstoy. And um, it is, uh, it's, it, it, the language is so beautiful and uh, it, it is, it's so, uh, uh, of course, uh, um, War and Peace is is is, is also uh, fantastic and and overwhelmingly beautiful. I can't imagine uh, reading it in translation and uh, being hit so hard by it and so moved by it. It's hard for me to imagine what it would be like if I were a native uh, Russian speaker and could actually read it in the original. It's just uh, it's just uh, uh, it it really. Uh, it stretches the imagination to think that that something so beautiful is actually a translation and and has and and is is actually somewhere else in its native tongue um, and the other one also uh, a translation from German although some of it is in French uh, is Thomas Mann's uh, The Magic Mountain and it has uh, in it it's the story of a young man uh, in in a a tuberculosis uh, uh, um, uh, uh, recovery hospital in the Alps in Switzerland, or perhaps in Germany. I'm not sure where, but uh, it it it, uh, dis it 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 follows his experience, and it contains uh, an epiphany. Uh, uh, describes a moment of of real epiphany, and it really blew blew me away. Hi, James Taylor again, uh, uh, just uh, uh, continuing with this sort of ramble through the stacks here. It's excellent to do this. Uh, I, uh, I want to point out a couple of, 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 uh, of albums that, that were really important to me uh, coming up. Uh, this is, uh, uh, perhaps if you were looking for the, the quintessential Miles Davis, you, you wouldn't choose Sketches of Spain. It's an orchestral album. It's a beautiful, uh, 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 atmospheric, uh, uh, deep, uh, it, it, the, the arrangements are written down and, uh, and, are, and are very, uh, are, are very solid, are very, uh, you know, it's, it's written in stone. Uh, but what Miles plays on top of it is amazingly free. An excellent uh, fusion of two worlds: the, the an orchestral arrangement and, and Miles Davis playing with it. A beautiful thing. Um, and while we're in the world of, of shall we say, accessible jazz, uh, not not smooth jazz, but accessible jazz, I would uh, also recommend this other well-known record. This this was recorded in 1963 in a in a three-day period in New York City. Joe Beam and Gilberto were 
were early proponents, uh, were early, uh, you know, have to be counted among the people who invented bossa nova. Uh, Astrid Gilberto sings Girl from Ipanema on this thing, which was such a cool thing to hear and a, and a, and a wonderful that it was a hit. Uh, but it brought Brazilian music to, the, to uh, uh, America in a major way, made it uh, uh, the center of, uh, of, of musical uh, uh, attention uh, for a while, and, and it definitely turned me on to Brazilian music. So there we go. Rafe Von Williams is uh, uh, Fantasia on Green Sleeves. It's got uh, Fantasia on Green Sleeves, The Lark Ascending, and some, some uh, his English folk song suite. These are, are uh, basically the, the center of my uh, um, musical uh, education. And I, I would I'd have to say that this was an important album for me. Uh, let's walk over here too, and because I wanted to put in a plug for my, my own flesh and blood, my, my son Ben, uh, has made, I believe, um, an excellent record in this. Uh, he's a handsome lad, but, uh, but he, he won't put his, his picture on, his, on an album cover, so we have this instead. But um, The Legend of Kung Folk Park One, the Part One, The Killing Bite, uh, has, uh, has a passage of songs on it for me between uh, Dangerous Girl, Something for Nothing, Wilderness, and You're the One for Me. Th those, those four songs, I can't get them out of my head. And, uh, and Ben uh, has been forming uh, as, a, as a musician himself. Uh, obviously, he picked up a lot from me and from his mom. But uh, he has his own sound, and he's really come into focus. He's produced a number of albums for himself and other people, and, and now has finally really come into focus with this thing. A, a beautiful job, and I'm, I'm proud of him for, for doing it. And of course, uh, this, all, all this other stuff. Thanks for walking around a little bit with me and, and letting me uh, uh, carry on a little bit about some of my picks, uh, records and books that have meant so much to me. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible to be uh, in this in this building with all these books and records, it's, uh, it's, a, the, the, it's the wealth of, uh, of civilization, of human civilization right here. And uh, so, you know, uh, uh, I hope you uh, uh, try some of these ones I suggested, and, uh, and um, I hope I maybe get a chance to find out about some of your favorites. Check them out, too.